Greetings, Glitter Gang. I hope you're doing well. My name is Catherine, and this is a Catherine Scraps album share. This is an album share of my Catch a Tag remastered album. This is the portrait version. This is the cruise version. I have used some theme park papers as well, so if you took a Disney cruise, you can hopefully get some inspiration from this. Um, but the whole thing is not theme park themed. It's definitely a mix of both. I've used the Simple Stories Cruise In collection and the Paper Phenomenon Remember the Magic collection. And those two collections are both av available digitally. So if you're watching this when you can't get those paper collections physically, you can always order the digital packs and have them printed by your local print shop or print them at home if you have a wide format printer. So this is a bigger album. It's uh, 10 by 12 uh, or thereabouts. And I have done it with an internal spine, what I call an internal spine, which is uh, a pattern paper spine that goes under the cover. Uh, so versus an external spine, which is would be like a craft text spine that goes over the cover and kind of you can see it on the front cover. And these are papers from Remember the Magic. I have had to, because it is so big, um, I've had to use two different pattern papers and kind of piece together a piece big enough for the album itself. Nobody can do for little children what grandparents do. Grandparents sort of sprinkle stardust over the lives of little children. And then we have imagination here. Of course, we have the beautiful balloon pattern on the spine. And then we have the theme park vibes here with um, all the different words in this word art. So again, um, I'll have everything linked below. I'll have a link to the album basics guide and a link to all the paper. I did decorate this live during my Catherine Scraps live show on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern USA time and 9 p.m. Eastern USA time. Uh, those videos are included in the archives membership. And we are currently working on a companion album to this, which is the Catch a Tag remastered album done in the landscape version. So this is the portrait version. There is a way to do this album as a landscape album as well. And that one is being done with a school theme. So I'll include links and information below for how to catch that live so you can see me decorating the school version and hang out with your fellow crafters and just chit chat about, you know, whatever you want. Um, all the videos from live classes where we're decorating a particular album, if that album has an album basics guide or if that album has an album tutorial, uh, they will be included with that album basics guide and with that album tutorial. So the decorating videos from the live classes for this one and the next one will both be included with the Catch a Tag Remastered album basics guide. You do not need the original Catch a Tag tutorial in order to make sense of or use or create the uh, Catch a Tag Remastered projects. So the Catch a Tag Remastered projects are standalone projects. They are just inspired by the original Catch a Tag album. So kind of my goal with the um, remastered album series that I'm doing is to just look at albums I've done in the past, think about the core idea of that album and then let it inspire me to make a new book utilizing that core idea. So in the case of the Catch a Tag album, the core idea was that you could not pull the tags out of the book, that the tags were caught in their pockets and they could not be fully removed. Uh, and so that is the jumping off point for this album and that's the only similarity uh, between the two books. So you don't need both, you just need the one that you prefer. All right. So I've created a little pocket here in the front to put some goodies. We've got postcards, luggage tags, to-do list, <laughs> drinks, snacks, fun house. Um, and then again, this is one of those things where you could do this fully cruise or fully theme park or anything you want. There's nothing about the shape of the album or the design of the album that forces it to be a school album 
a cruise album, a theme park album, whatever. All right, so here's the first page. There's two page styles. There's page style A, which is what this is. And page style A has a window that you open. Um, and then that will reveal two photos. Now these two photos are, and they're fully framed. The whole photo will show in this window. So the window is large enough for both the photos to show in their entirety, four by six photos. And then um, with them here, you just pull this tag and they will slide out of the way. And then you can have another image beneath. So whatever you want. So in this case, what we've chosen to do is the pages from the collection that have large designs, pretty designs that we maybe didn't want to cover, um, we've put them behind. So it's a good way to showcase your paper if you've got paper that's too pretty to cover. But uh, you could also put two additional photos back there. You can put one enlargement back there. You could put journaling back there, tell a really long story about these photos, whatever you want. So that's, it's up to you what you want to do with the, with the reveal. And then of course there's room here for an, uh, another photo if you'd like. And on the front, we've just done a lot of decorating again with the with the cruise line. Now, this is the second page style here. This is page style B, which is a waterfall of pockets. But before we get to that, I have chosen in the decorating here to do um, an additional bonus pocket. So this is not part of the original tutorial. This is something I did during the decorating but all the measurements were given. So if you wanted to follow along exactly, you would be able to follow along exactly. And I put some inserts in there. So we've got, and this is where the majority of our theme park paper is, where our Remember the Magic paper is. So we've got this cute little layout where we're not covering the pattern paper at all. We're gonna open it up and just have tons of four by four photos, places for four by four photos. So this is picture perfect. Sometimes you'll never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And then this is just, you know, as many photos as you want, you can just keep stacking them in here. And then you can put um, a long photo or not a, a long, a four by six, a full size photo in the back of that insert. And then here we have a cute little pocket with one of the Polaroids from the collection on the back where we can put a photo and I've just left this edge free so a photo can slide underneath. This album is a little bit easier to do if you have the photos while you're working on it, but it's not r necessary. You just wanna make sure if you don't have the photos while you're working on it that whatever you put behind here, um, you know, once once this once page A is made, it's done. You can't get back to that piece again without taking it completely apart. So whatever you put back there, it's permanent. So these are four by six Polaroids, uh, five of them on this little insert inside the pocket. So that's another bunch of photos you can get into the album. I didn't count how many photos once again but there's a bunch there's a bunch and then the last insert here we have a closure uh, that holds a four by six photo another place to display paper lots of places to display paper in this album and yet lots of places to put your photos so in the inserts alone we have five here five here four by sixes and then this one, which is four by fours, has I think 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20. It has 20 uh, four by fours. So we've got just in the pocket and its inserts, we have 30 photos. All right, let's write this down. Uh, page style A can hold four four by six photos times three page style A's, which is 12 total. And then inserts 
pulled 10 four by six and 20 four by four. And there's three of each of those as well. So there's an additional 30, four by six, 60, four by four. And then we'll calculate page style B. And then we'll know. All right, so let me stick these back in here. You do not have to put inserts in this pocket. This pocket would be great for memorabilia. That's why I put it in here because you have a lot of memorabilia when you take a cruise and when you go to a theme park. All right, so page style A is a waterfall. And oops, my paper got torn. This album um, got dropped. So this album's got some damage. Um, some of it I is has been a surprise to me, so I don't know if someone like I don't remember dropping it, but it definitely has signs of having been dropped. <laughs> so when your paper peels up like that, just put some glue and roll the paper back in place. Just put a little bit of glue, and you're good to go. All right. So these have the ability to put a photo on the front, a photo on the back, and then tags that also hold four by six photos on the inside. So the tags will hold four by six photos in this area here. You don't have to cut the photos. Um, so that is one, two, three, let's say three, four by six photos per pocket. One, two, three, four, five, six pockets. So three times six is 18 times three is um, not particularly good at math, as you may know, 54, 54, four by six photos. So, all right, let's do a quick calculation. So totals, four by six and four by four. Four by four we know is 60. So four by six, we'll just add 54 plus 30 plus 12, 96, 96. So those are your totals for the book. 96 and 60. All right, so now we know. So with these, you can decorate the fronts as well. So if you want to have more pattern paper on display, more elements from the collection on display, you absolutely can. This is a good place to do it. Just leave the fronts blank and keep your photos on the back so they're revealed when you flip and in the pockets so they're revealed when you take the tags out. And then here I've used one of the elements from the collection. Again, just there's lots of areas to highlight things and put them on display with this book. Okay, um, here's another example of that, which is with the next page where we are just using pattern paper and embellishments on the front of the panel to um, highlight some of those elements as well. So again, same thing, page style A, you open the door and here we have the captain's quarters and we put some ears on the captain's hat so we, now we know who the captain is. And then once again, pull this tag to reveal and here we've used some pattern paper and this is where theoretically you would like write your story. So this is just an example of using journaling behind the photos. And then we're going to flip the page again. And then with this one, uh, again, we ha I've decorated in the pocket. So I'll just show you those inserts and then we'll do a quick flip through page style B. So I've used the same three elements in all the pockets. So it's more just how they're decorated. This one, we're doing the group shot what an awesome day. We have the fireworks, of course. It's always associate fireworks with theme parks. And then flip through and it's it's all the same. It's all your all your photos. 
uh, your 20 photos and you could you know use photos that are already square or you could crop photos down however you want to do it and then another pocket and again we're just not covering the paper there's so many places in this album where you can really let the paper shine and you don't have to cover the paper in order to get tons of photos as you can see we have 156 photos four by four and larger in this book which is a lot of photos um, which is why it was great for a vacation themed album and for a school themed album because those are always you know you always have so many photos of vacation you always have so many photos of school years but again it can be of anything anything you want because the album style is so versatile on the back again we've got one of the Fulleroids from the collection I put one of those Fulleroids from the collection on the back of every one of those pockets and then here I have am highlighting some of the embellishments very very cute and then we have our five photos underneath and then I have done a chevron pattern paper quilt so this is um, I do these pattern paper quilts um, frequently this is a way that I use my scraps uh, to uh, like my little bitty scraps that are not very not very wide I use them to make new papers in my books and they can as you can see here you can cover quite a lot of space using these paper quilts this one is a chevron one it was a new technique I was trying you will see how to do this paper quilt in the uh, archives for this project if you're a member of the archives already you can go check it out there again it's the catch a tag remastered album this is the school version or um, if you purchase the album basics guide linked below to this album you'll see it in there as well because it will be included so I've done a little bit of decorating here and then again flip through for all those photos all those photos cute little whale hiding at the bottom and then you know we've got the four by six photos again you have room for a four by six photo on the tag itself tags never want to go back in their pockets do they they just want to shine they just want people to look at them and love them all right, and then ha we have our third page style A. I've done three pages in this book. As you can see, because the gutter has to be an inch because of this large expanding pocket that I've done, it's three was really where I, I decided to leave it. <laughs> I didn't want to go totally overboard. Come sail away with me. Top five faves from our cruise. Then we have the map back here. Again, if you just have a special paper you want to highlight, that's the place to do it and this album um, it it does use paper a lot but it uses paper a lot in strips so like for here you can cover the fronts of these with photos if you want to save on paper or all of these were cut with a 5x7 pinwheel so we got four of these um, pocket covers out of every design that we used and as well with this one it's mostly strips see so you're, you're just using strips on the edges you're not covering the whole thing with a big 12 by 12 sheet so yes it is, it is a paper heavy book because you are leaving designs everywhere um, but it it's not you know totally overwhelming and then here's the last page best b vacay ever just a quick flip through taking a look at all the photos here room for photos place to write your final thoughts on your trip there and uh, it has the hard the hard cover and the soft spine so um, this is my new book I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out I just loved working with um, both these paper collections they were lots of fun. Uh, remember the magic from Paper Phenomenon and Cruisin' from Simple Stories and the paper collections, their color palettes worked with each other beautifully. This is all Remember the Magic here. This is all Cruisin' here. You can't tell that they weren't originally designed to go together. They look fabulous together. 
all the papers, the album basics guide, information on our weekly classes, uh, which we're having one today, all of that is linked down below in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye now.